Imagine a world where getting from New York to Los Angeles takes just a little over two hours without the hassle of airports or security checks. No, this isn't science fiction or something out of a superhero movie. Right now, China is working on a train that could reach an astounding speed of 1,000 kilometers per H, 621 miles per hour, which is faster than many commercial airplanes. And just to put things in perspective, Japan's iconic Shinkansen Bullet trains crews at speeds of 320 kilometers per H, 200 miles per hour, while Shanghai's Maglev train can hit a top speed of 431 kilometers per H, 268 miles per hour. The evolution of trains. Trains have come a long way since their humble beginnings. Back in the day, steam engines could barely reach speeds of 48 kilometers per H. 30 miles per hour, which felt like lightning at the time compared to horse-drawn carriages. But as technology advanced, so did trains dot. In 1964, Japan introduced its first bullet train, the Shinkansen, which could travel at a speed of 210 kilometers per H, 130 mupa a game changer for people looking to travel long distances quickly. Over time, Shinkansen trains got even faster, with some models now reaching 320 kilometers per H, 200 miles per hour. And then there was China, which in 2004 launched the Shanghai Maglev. It was an impressive feat with speeds reaching 460 kilometers per H, 286 miles per hour, and covering a 30.5 kilometers, 19 mile distance in just eight minutes. But China wasn't about to stop there. China's bold vision, taking maglev to the next level. While the Shanghai maglev was a technological breakthrough, it was still based on foreign technology, particularly German innovations. But if there's one thing we know about China, it's that they don't like to rely on others for long. By 2016, China had developed its own domestic maglev system in Changsha, which though slower, 100 to 120 kilometers per H, marked an important milestone in the country's quest for self-sufficiency in advanced transport technology. China China is going one step further. China's Aerospace Science and Industry Corporation is developing a train that can reach speeds of 1,000 kilometers per H. 621 miles per hour. Yes, you read that right. This new train will move faster than most commercial airplanes. It's going to use a combination of two groundbreaking technologies, magnetic levitation, maglev, and vacuum tubes. But before we get too far into the weeds, let's take a quick detour to understand how these technologies work. How does maglev technology work? First, let's break down maglev. Short for magnetic levitation, maglev trains don't use wheels like traditional trains. Instead, they float above the track using powerful magnets. This means no friction, which leads to less wear and tear, less noise, and incredibly smooth and fast travel. Now, the train China is developing is not just any maglev. It's designed to levitate about 100 millimeters, almost four inches above the track, which is 10 times higher than traditional maglev trains. This extra height helps reduce interference, and the trains can glide more smoothly at ultra-high speeds. Not only that, but they're using carbon fiber to make the train lighter while ensuring it stays structurally strong. Going fast is one thing, but doing it efficiently is where this project really stands out. Superconductivity. You may have heard of superconductivity, but in the context of trains, it's a complete game changer. When certain materials are cooled to very low temperatures, they become superconductors, which means they can conduct electricity with zero resistance. This makes the magnetic levitation system far more stable and efficient. It's almost like giving the train a superhero power to keep things running smoothly and at high speeds without wasting energy. Testing the speed, China's two kilometers test track. Of course, all this high-tech talk is great, but how does it work in real life? Well, China has already started testing the new technology. In Shanghai, they've built a 2 kilometers, 1.2 miles test track. While it's not huge, it's enough to test all the critical systems. The results have been promising, and they've even managed to hit close to the predicted speeds dot during testing. The focus was on ensuring controlled navigation, keeping the train on its exact path at high speeds, stable suspension, maintaining a consistent height above the track and safe stopping because even high speeds don't mean much if you can't stop safely. All tests showed that the system can perform well and safely, which is no small feat when you're dealing with speeds that are faster than most commercial jets. The economic and environmental impact. So what would this high-speed train mean for the world? Economists have a term for this kind of connectivity, one-hour economic circles. Imagine a world where cities that are currently hours apart become reachable in less than an hour.
Commuting between cities could become as simple as taking the bus. For example, you could live in one city and work in another without losing a whole day of travel dot. But it's not just about making our lives easier. It could also make the planet a little greener. Air travel is a major contributor to carbon emissions and replacing short haul flights with a cleaner alternative like this high speed train could drastically reduce the amount of CO2 released into the atmosphere. In fact, traditional high speed rail already emits about 20 to 30 grams of CO2 per passenger kilometer compared to 150 to 200 grams from short haul flights. With this new maglev vacuum system, the numbers could drop even further making this not just a technological advancement but also an environmental one. The challenge is ahead. As amazing as all this sounds, there are a few hurdles to overcome before this vision becomes a reality. For one, the infrastructure costs are enormous. Building a low vacuum tube over long distances isn't going to come cheap, and it's not just about the train itself. Integrating this system into existing rail networks will be an incredibly complex task. Dot, to put things into perspective, building conventional high-speed rail can cost anywhere from $17 million to $170 million per kilometer depending on the terrain and other factors. The maglev system in a vacuum tube will likely cost much more. Potentially reaching hundreds of billions of dollars for a single long distance line dot safety is another crucial concern. At these speeds, even tiny issues can have catastrophic consequences, so the emergency systems must be flawless. China isn't the only country working on such projects. Japan has its own superconducting maglev train, which is expected to run at speeds of up to 505 kilometers per h. 314 miles per hour. Though it's not as fast as China's system, Japan's train is still a significant step forward and is expected to connect Tokyo and Nagoya by 2027. Meanwhile, comma, in the United States, companies are working on Hyperloop technology, which shares some similarities with the maglev vacuum tube system. However, while China's system is already moving forward, the Hyperloop is still mostly in the development phase, and the plans for large scale passenger transport are not as advanced. Ready for supersonic speed? Now, imagine a world where your daily commute feels more like a thrilling race. Just imagine breakfast in Beijing, lunch in Shanghai, and dinner back in Beijing all in the same day. Sounds like something out of a sci-fi movie, right? But with the pace at which this technology is advancing, who knows? In a few decades, this kind of travel could be as common as hopping on a bus. So are you ready for a future where we can zip between cities at the speed of sound, or does the idea of traveling at those speeds make you a bit nervous? One thing's for sure, China's new maglev vacuum train is poised to change the way we think about transportation, and the possibilities are endless. If this mind-blowing speed has you dreaming of a future where we can zip across continents in mere hours, smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe for more futuristic tech and travel updates, because you won't want to miss what's coming next.